Hi everyone, welcome to the flow sessions. So today we will discuss about the scheduled trigger flows. So why we use these scheduled trigger flows? So before going to create or before going to know about the scheduled trigger flows, I will give you one small example. Okay, so we used to have the mobile recharge plan, right? Okay, so we used to have the mobile recharge plan and if that recharge is going to expire, we used to get some messages and calls, right? So if in next three days, if my recharge plan is going to expire, they used to send some messages and they used to do some system generated calls. So how they are sending that messages, how they are sending that calls. So is they sending that messages manually? Is they making the calls manually? If they need to send those messages and calls manually, so they used to have a lot of customers, right? They used to have millions of customers. So if they need to send these messages for everyone, so it is not possible. They need a lot of manpower, right? So they can't do such type of things. And they used to do, uh, for example, if my recharge is going to expire in next one week or next five days, so they used to send the messages every day, right? So they are automating their business, okay? They are automating their business by having some techniques, okay? So that it will check every day the recharge plans of the customers and if they are going to expire in next seven days or next five days, they will automatically, the system will generate the messages and they, the system will generate the calls and it will send the messages and it will do some calls, right? In the same way, in Salesforce also, if I want to automate my business, okay, based on certain criteria, we will use these scheduled trigger flows. For example, I'm taking one scenario here. We have opportunities, right? So in the opportunity, we used to have the close date. Okay, so in the opportunities, we used to have the close date. For example, in any of the opportunity, okay, so here we have some close date which will expire. Uh, so it is already closed. Okay, so it is already closed. For example, if it is closing in the future, okay, if it is closing in the future, so I want to send some email alert. Okay, I want to send email alert to the owner of this opportunity. Okay, to the owner of this opportunity, I want to send the email alert. Okay, so before seven days of that closing date. Okay, every day before closing date of that this opportunity, I want to send some email. Okay, so that so it should not be sent by manually. It should be auto generated. Okay, it should be auto generated. So automatically, it should send some email. So before seven days of closing that opportunity. Okay, so maybe it should be either every day or at a particular day before seven days of that closing date okay so here i want to create a schedule flow where it should send the email alert before seven days of this closing date okay so we will see how to create the schedule trigger flow so here as we know so we need to search for the flows and we need to select the flows and then click on new flow So here we have the schedule trigger flow. So click on create. See, it will ask set a schedule. Okay, so when it should schedule. Okay, so we should have some schedule, right? See here, start date and start time and frequency. So what is this start date? So when it should start the schedule. Okay, so we should schedule it. So when it should start. Okay, when it should run. So I will select here. So today is my start date. We can select anything. So today is my start date. Okay. And we can set some time frequency. Okay. It should start at 12 a.m. or 12 15. So we used to have every 15 minutes period. Okay. 15 minute time gap. We used to have the all the timings here. Okay. A.m. and p.m. both for 24 hours with 15 minutes gap. We used to have the timings. Okay, so we can select any of the any of these timings. Okay, so we can select anything from here. So every day, okay, every day at 12 a.m. I want to run my flow and it should check all the opportunities which are having the close date uh, before seven days. Okay, so if it is uh, seven days before the closing date, okay, so it should get all those opportunities and it should send mail to the all opportunities owners. Okay, so I'm selecting every day 
12 am automatically even uh, as we know sometimes if if we are indians so at 12 am that is not our working time right but automatically the system will run this clock and it will get all the opportunities which are having the closing date seven days before and it will send the email to the opportunity owners so here i'm selecting today as a start date so from today, today onwards it should run the flow every day 12 am and frequency so here as i'm saying so once only once if i want to run my flow okay so only once if i want to run my flow and then i don't want to run my flow then i can select once daily means if i want to run my flow daily okay so daily at 12 am if i want to run my flow we need to select this daily options and then we have the weekly if i want to run my flow weekly means weekly once if i want to run my flow and if i want to send the email then we can select the weekly option okay so we can send only once or we can send daily the messages or we can send the weekly ones okay so we can choose any of the options so here i want to send the email alert every day okay at 12 am if the closing date is before 7 days okay i'm selecting daily here so we have set a schedule okay we have scheduled the flow and then so here we have one more option if you see choose ob object okay and it is showing as optional but here we need to choose the object why because when we are scheduling any of the flow and while we are running this flow it should fetch some records right so which records it will fetch if there is no object so it won't be available any record global variable also if there is no object is selected so for this we should select the object okay when we are selecting object so the flow will understand so i should get the records of this object okay so here i am selecting the opportunity okay so means here i need to select i need to get the opportunity record so if there is any specific condition okay if there is any specific conditions so then we can get only those opportunity records for example flow state greater than or equals to so we can have particular condition or there will be no condition also right so here i want to mention like today but here it is taking only the uh, fields which are present in the record so we can select the none also means it will get all the opportunity records okay so here i have set a schedule means at particular time i am scheduling this one and i have selected the opportunity object now what i need to do i need to send some email alert right so before going to send that email alert i need to check that opportunity close date is 7 days or not okay so it should be within the 7 days okay opportunity close date should be within the 7 days when compared to today okay when we are checking with today opportunity close date should be next to 7 days okay so to check that one we need to create one formula okay so we need to get that 7 days right so we should create one formula so i'm going to create the new resource where resource type is formula and i'm giving like close date check so data type so here so that date particular time span it should be 7 days right if that uh, closing date is next to 7 days okay so i need to send the mail so it should be 7 days so what should it return what is the data type so here it is returning the number data type and decimal places so i don't want to mention any decimal places it is a zero and then we used to have the some formula so what is this formula so when we are i need to send the mail whenever that opportunity is going to close in the next 7 days means here i need to select like opportunity close date minus today okay so from so we need to we need to subtract the today date with the opportunity close date so if that is equals to 7 days okay if that is if that equals to 7 days then we will send the email alert so now so here we have opportunity so we can select the record so 
whenever their ob uh, object I have selected, right? So that's why I have got this record global variable here. And I'm selecting the close rate. Okay. And minus I'm giving today. So normally here we can get when you search for the function, you can get the today. So when you click on today, automatically it will give you here. And to check this syntax, okay, if it is, if you have any doubt about this formula, if you have the doubt, so you can check the syntax here and it will give if this valid or not. So if this is valid, so then we can click on the done. So I have created a formula. Okay, so I have created a formula which is having the written type as the number. Okay, so now I will take the decision. I'm giving some condition check. Okay, so here I'm checking like close state. Starting with QOPP. And then, so here I have a formula, right? If this formula written in, that should equals to less than or equals to seven. Okay, means so from today onwards, if the closing date is seven days, so in these seven days, I need to send the email alert. So less than a request to seven days. Okay. So then I need to send the email alert. So there is no email alert I have created for the opportunity. So I will first create the email alert. So to create that email alert, click on setup. So before the email alert, I need to create the email template first. So I will create the template. So classic email templates. New template. I'm going to create the text type. Click on next. So here it is asking uh, uh, for the, it is asking for the field type okay so which object fields you want to match and select the field and then we can have some email information so i'm using the folder as public so if it is personal we can see only our email templates if it is unified public classic email templates we can able to see all the emails okay whatever the user created every email template will be shows in this unified public classic email template so i'm selecting this one only and we should make this one available for user Otherwise, we can't see this email template whenever we are creating the email alert. And the template name I'm giving like opportunity closed date template. Okay, encoding, I don't want to change anything. If there is any description, we can use this one. Okay, whatever it is and uh, subject so whenever we are sending mail we should have some subject right so that is the subject i'm mentioning here so opportunity close date notification okay and email body so here we have to mention the body. So here I want to mention the opportunity owner. So I should use the opportunity fields. And the field is the owner. I want to use the owner full name. So copy that one and paste it here you want to mention your opportunity is going to close on we can use this one if you have the idea we can write directly or we can select from here okay so i'm using the close date 
below are the details of your opportunity. So like that we can provide we can give some user fields. this is the body of my template so click on save okay if you want to check this mail is working or not means these mail fields are working fine or not if you want to check we can send some attest and we can check from here also Okay, so we can have some user record here and then we can have some opportunity record here and then we can check these match fields. So I'm not checking here and then uh, so the, my email template is ready. Then I need to create the email alert. So here I need to create the new email alert. So what is the description? So opportunity closed date alert. So it will automatically text the unique name and I want to create it on opportunity right. Opportunity object and we should select the email template. So opportunity closed date template. And then to the owner of this record I want to show right. I want to send the email. So here recipient type. So who is the recipient? So here I want to take the owner, the opportunity owner. To the opportunity owner, I want to send the mail. And we can add some additional emails also. Okay, if there are any other emails, if I want to send to any of other recipients, so we can have five other emails we can add here. Okay, so from email address so current email, user's email address okay so from the current email address user's email address we can send this mail so click on save so i have created the email alert also so now i want to so i will save this one So this is not a uh, issue. So we have one issue. So for a schedule trigger flow, specify the default workflow user in your aux process automation settings. So it is asking for the default user because I need to send the email for the users, right? So aux process automation settings, it is asking for the default user. So I will do that one. We have process automation settings. 
So default workflow user, I will select myself. So click on save. Now I want to save this one. Okay, so it is saved. So I will refresh it because I have created the email alert, right? So if I want to get that email alert in my flow, so we need to refresh it. Okay, so from here, select the action as the element. And here we can have the category and the type. So you can select type. So here we can have the email alert. So from here, we can select opportunity close date alert. I'm giving the same name here also. So we have taken the opportunity, right? So we have to pass the ID from here. So opportunity ID. Click on done. And then click on save. See here, so I have set a schedule for this. Okay, so every day at 12 a.m. it should run this flow and object is opportunity. And then I have some condition. It should check that. So opportunity is going, going to close in next seven days. Okay, then it will send some email to the opportunity owner. Okay, so if need, we can debug this one. If there is any opportunity present, then it will go through this path. See here, it, it gone through this path only. So it is checking this one. Okay, and then, so this is the input. Okay, so this is the record ID, which is taking from the opportunity, okay. And so this is, we are creating directly a schedule flow. Okay, so directly we are creating a schedule flow. There is one more option I want to show you. So which is in the trigger flows, okay, record trigger flows, only in the after record trigger flows, not in before. If you see, this is the before record trigger flow, okay. So there is no fast field updates. There is no schedule path here. But when you see here, so actions and related record means this is the after record trigger flow, which is having some add schedule path, okay. So if you don't want to create a separate schedule flow, we can use the schedule paths, okay. So it will ask path label and API name. And then time source means, for example, opportunity close date, right? So here I have only account. So from the account created date, okay? So before seven days, okay, days before. Here we need to give the half set number, okay? Means seven days before. See here, account created date seven days before if I want to send any email, okay? Then we can use this one. So if there is opportunity, so opportunity close date, seven days before opportunity close date. If I want to send e any email alert, so we can use this schedule path. Okay, we can use this schedule path so that without creating any schedule flow, we can use this one also within the record trigger flow only. Okay, so we can mention these things. Okay, so we have to mention the time source means opportunity close date, opportunity created date or opportunity last modified date, whatever it is. Okay, so seven days before, so we can mention the number here, seven days, three days, two weeks, three weeks like that. And we have months, days, hours, minutes, whatever it is. Okay, so three months before if I want to send the mail or three months after if I want to send the mail. So seven days before if I want to send or seven days after if I want to send. And hours also we can mention and minutes also it will take. Okay, whatever the number we have taken and whatever the offset option we have taken so it will take that one okay so in the advanced we have the batch size so means if i want to run my flow in batches okay so we can mention the batch size also so i don't want to mention any batch size here i just want to let you know we have this option in the record trigger flow so that's why i have shown this option here on um, this schedule path option in the record trigger flow so we can use this option also if you want to create any schedule path okay so or directly we can create any of the schedule flow okay we can create the schedule flow which will runs every day or weekly ones okay so like this we can create the schedule flows so which will runs in the future not immediately okay the schedule flows runs in the future so that it will get the records and it will do whatever the actions we have mentioned inside the flow 
okay so this is about the head to flows so thank you